Now, as you can see, a big mistake when trying to build your own DIY motion sim rig is not having big enough motors. Now, I wanted to upgrade this two degree of freedom seat mover with some really big motors just to see what would happen. See if I can get them to plug into the wall, AC powered so we don't need to use a battery. That's gonna be helpful. I ordered the motors off of eBay, really inexpensive, like 65 bucks for two of them. They're probably gonna be awesome if they work, fingers crossed. I got them in a box right over there. So if you're new to the channel, my name's Dave and I run this three degree of freedom rig. I've shown uh, several videos on how to do it, how to build it yourself. We just finished up a series on building this two degree of freedom seat mover using windshield wiper motors and we got it to work. It's just not quite powerful enough the way that I would like it. So that's why we're upgrading and we're going to do it as cheap as possible. So hey, like, subscribe, I do appreciate you checking in. Let's go. I received my parts. This is a, this is the converter or inverter and we're going to open that up in one second and I got this freaking heavy package. This. Let's open it. Let's just check it out. I have no idea what to expect here. Oh, these are, oh my gosh. These are cool. Look at that. There's two of them. God, these things look brand new. Well, I guess a, somebody in a wheelchair probably wouldn't be moving around too much. Some kind of bolts. Another set of bolts. All right, I could always use some bolts. Uh, so, yeah. Let's see if you can see this. 24 volts. Uh, these are CM808-75B. I don't know what all this stuff means. But, yeah, it's got even got a keyway here. So when we hook the, the lever. God, these things are heavy. This probably weighs 10 pounds. I bet you they're pretty good. <laughs> this is going to be a big upgrade to the rig. Now, um, before I get too far, I also got this. This is a 24 volt um, AC 110 in. I mean, in. So I'm going to use this plug, and it's going to be 24 volts. Uh, coming out DC I don't know I mean it looks pretty small but that's the way it is 24 volts uh, uh, output 24 to 20 at 25 amps so I got this little cable it's gonna plug in I'm gonna strip off the ends put here uh, a ground the hot and the white and then I'd be able to test voltage here this is plus voltage and that would be negative voltage so we're going to do this one here there's also a, a small adjustment thing right here so we'll see if one of these can run one or both of those motors I don't know but we can we're, we're going to be able to at least I mean these are these things are per Wow, this is heavy. <laughs> I'm very thrilled with this purchase. All right, so we're just gonna see how much this thing weighs. Put it in here, right at nine, 10 pounds. Man, I'm excited about this. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check to make sure that it's not grounded. So I'm gonna go, I got zero ohms. I'm on the case, nothing. Okay, that's good. Once again, zero ohms. Check the case. I got nothing. So, we should be good to go. Uh, let me take a look at the other one. Uh, 
I'll check it. All right. Nothing, nothing, nothing. I think we're good. We don't have to, to do anything here. Except try to use these big freaking motors. <laughs> All right, so let's test them. All right, so I'm going to just check it. Now, this 12 volts is going to make it spin like half as fast. So I'm just going to hook it up one direction. All right, I'm going to swap the leads. It's not making any weird noises. Yep. All right, so I have them setting in place here. They are, they're freaking massive compared to the little windshield wiper motors. Uh, it's hard to tell on the camera, but it's just, yeah, these things are huge. Now, I'm not really sure how to mount them. Um, probably going to have to, oh, sorry, probably going to have to build the potentiometer mount out here. Um, or... Or they'll end up sticking out like way out like this, which that's probably not good. Now they have different styles. These ones, at least on my initial research, seem to have the fastest speed and the most torque. Uh, these are, it's really hard to tell with the camera, but these things are so tiny compared to this big freaking block of giantness all right so we're gonna have to what what they have they do have a little tap in here so we ought to be able to just run um, some kind of threaded I don't know what the tap size is but uh, anyway we're gonna run some a threaded rod through here that'll attach the potentiometer out and we'll have to make a little bit bigger or at least beefier uh, set up for the potentiometer to protect it because it's gonna even if it was right here it's still gonna stick out a little bit um, but look at that setup yeah I mean these things are I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you with my crab pop motors I'll walk it around here I am pretty freaking thrilled so they appear to be, you know, just a little bit bigger than the crab pop motors. You know, it, it, we should be able to mount this. Um, it looks like they have some kind of bracketry that, that they'd sent me to mount it. So we're going to have to make new mounts. But, hey, this, these are going to be uh, plenty powerful. 24 volts DC. So let's uh, see if we can get that inverter to put out 24 volts. Let's do it now. All right, so what I'm going to do is I've got a AC 110 uh, cord. This thing's been sitting around the garage for probably 15 years. I've never used it for anything, but now's the day. So I'm just going to strip it and... Cut a little bit of this back. So we have three wires, which is what these, these things have. So you've got green as a ground, you've got a hot, and then you have a neutral. So I'm looking at the directions here, and so we got Make sure the voltage is switched before we're using. We could either have it on 115, that's correct. Or if you're in Europe, you'd switch it to 220. So we did that. And then uh, live wire, neutral wire, and the earth wire. So let's get it, let's get it wired up. All right, so take a quick look. These are, I would say if I was going to, if this was permanent, I'd put some type of spade lug on here. All right, so I'm just going to tin them in lieu of having a spade connector. It's just shaky. And 
And once again, we're going for ground, which is the green, uh, neutral, which is the white, and L, which is switched wire or power. Let me hook them up. All right, so we should be good to go. Okay, recording one more time. So what we're going to do is we're going to look for 24 volts here. On this one, we want to go plus to minus. And one here, one here, and we're looking for 24 volts. We got 24.21 or 20. That's good. So we should be good to go. All right, so you may or may not agree with the way that I'm doing this, but I want to see how many amps this thing is pulling. Uh, I got the motor right here, and I don't have any on and off switch, no, nothing built in yet. Uh, so look at that motor going. And we are 2.7 amps. That's with no resistance, but that's just the motor is probably what we're doing. Um, so this power supply is supposed to be able to accommodate uh, 30 amps. So, you know, we should be good. And there's nothing wrong with letting the thing run for a little bit. On DC. And I'll check the other side. Yeah, 2.2. So... That's plenty fast. I mean, all it's really going to have to do is move a little bit. All right, so guys, uh, it's not going to be a construction video today, but we'll get into that the next time. Uh, basically, we ordered the parts. We're going to see if one of these power supplies can handle two motors um, under load. It might not. Um, I have all the part numbers in the description. So, you know, if we need two of these, then that's what we need. Um, if we only need one, then <laughs> that's just one. Okay, so it's all going to go back to the same thing. We're going to run uh, the motor off the IBT2s. Now I got two more of them right here, but I'm probably going to use the same circuit. I ordered two IBTs, I ordered another Arduino, and two more of the Hall Effect potentiometers. I only got these two, the IBTs, which I didn't get the uh, Arduino in, and I did not get uh, the Hall Effect potentiometers. Those are on back order for some reason. It's the first time they've ever been on back order. But uh, so we're probably going to use this exact same setup that we already built. And um, next video, we're going to go ahead and make some measurements, make some motor mounts for this thing. And uh, yeah, check back in. Dave out.